Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to calculate the UK income tax for 2022-23 to 23 in Excel. The UK income tax system follows a progressive system, meaning that those taxpayers that have a higher income, such as those earning over 150000 will be in a higher tax band, whereas lower earning taxpayers, such as those earning 14000 will be in a lower one. It's also worth noting that those earning more than £100,000 will have their tax-free allowance drop by £1 for every £2 that their income exceeds £100,000. In this video, we'll cover how to create an income tax calculator which automatically returns your income tax payment based on the taxable income figure that you input. Before we start, I want to emphasise that I'm not a qualified accountant or advisor and you should not use this video to substitute tax advice. Firstly, we need to calculate the difference between the taxable income and 100,000 in order to adhere to the rule I mentioned earlier. However, when the taxable income is, say, 50,000, which is below 100,000, the difference will, of course, be zero as the rule only applies when the taxable income exceeds 100,000. We can write an if statement to reflect this. If the taxable income figure is greater than 100,000, then we want it to find the difference between the two. Whereas if it's smaller than 100,000, then we want it to return zero. Therefore, when we change the taxable income figure to a figure above 100,000, we can see that the difference is calculated. Next, we want to calculate the deduction in the tax-free allowance if the income is indeed greater than 100,000. Since the allowance drops by £1 for every £2 that our income exceeds 100,000, we need to divide the difference by 2. However, we need to ensure that the deduction does not exceed the tax-free allowance of 12570 So if the difference divided by 2 is greater than 12570 then return 12570 However, if the condition does not hold, then simply calculate the difference divided by 2. This way, even if our taxable income is above 125,140, the deduction will be capped at 12,570. Next, we need to build this calculation table, which we'll use later on to calculate our outputs. Firstly, let's input the tax thresholds, which apply in the UK. These have increased slightly since last year, to 0, 12,570, 50,270, and 150,000. However, instead of just typing these figures, we need to ensure that we subtract the deduction from the taxable incomes to account for any incomes above £100,000. Therefore, we start with 0. Next, we have 12,570, and then we subtract the deduction. Next, we have 50,270, and then once again, we subtract the deduction. The personal allowance, however, is not relevant to the 150,000 threshold, so we can keep that as it is. Since our taxable income is currently 135,000, which is above 100,000, our calculation table has subtracted the deduction from the taxable income thresholds. If our taxable income, however, were to be below 100,000, then the taxable income figures become the same as the original boundaries. Before we calculate the tax payable for each taxable income, let's input the tax rates which correspond to each tax threshold. We have 0%, 20, 40%, and 45%. Finally, let's move on to the tax payable. The tax payable when our taxable income is zero is of course zero. 
The amount payable when our income is 12,570 is also zero, as the 20% tax rate only applies when the taxable income is greater than 12,570. The tax payable when the taxable income is 50,270 is slightly trickier. First, we take the tax payable in the previous band. We then add this to the difference between 50,270, which is our taxable income, and 12,570, which is the previous boundary. We then close brackets and multiply this by the applicable tax rate, which is 20%. We can then do the same for the cell below. Next, we can move on to our outputs. Now that our calculation table is complete, we want to be able to use it to calculate our tax payments. As a reminder, our tax payments is the amount payable in the previous tax bands plus the rates of the current tax bands multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax bands. We can find each of these using the VLOOKUP function. To find the amount payable in the previous tax bands, we type equals VLOOKUP. We're looking up the taxable income, which is £36,000, within the calculation table we just made. We're looking to retrieve the value in the second column, which corresponds to the tax payable, so we type 2. And finally, we want it to be an approximate match, so we type 1. Since we've used an approximate match, Excel has retrieved the tax payable, which corresponds to the taxable income that is below our lookup value, which is 12,570, and therefore it's retrieved 0. To find the rate of the current tax band, we once again use a VLOOKUP function. The only difference now is that we're looking to retrieve the value in the third column, which corresponds to the tax rate. To find the amount payable in the current tax bands, we firstly take the taxable income figure and then use VLOOKUP to subtract 12,570, which is found in the first column of our table array. We are given 23,430, which is indeed 36,000 minus 12,570. Now that we have the intermediary calculations, we can calculate the annual tax payment. This is the amount payable in the previous tax bands, plus the rates of the current tax bands, multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax band. So for a taxable income of £36,000, our annual tax payments is 4686 We can now check whether our calculation works for another income figure. Let's go for 110000 which is above 100000 The amount payable in the previous tax band is 7540 which is indeed correct as per our calculation table. The rate of the current tax band is 40%, as our income figure is between these two boundaries. Finally, the amount payable in the current tax band is 64,730, which is 110,000 minus 45,270 after adjusting for the allowance rule. So that's how you can calculate your 2022 to 23 UK income tax in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.